everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel, who's taking a look at our three best baseball bets of the day. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot. Just trying to get some winners today. We're trying to get winners every day. So let's start this edition of the Hurry Up in Colorado, where the Rockies and Giants go at it this afternoon. It's Kyle Freeland on the mound against Logan Webb. And you're going back to this first five under at Coors Field. It's dangerous for people, but you are not scared ever. You like the first five under this afternoon. So I know. How can I take a Coors under when yesterday the score was 23 to 5? I had the Rockies and was just a little bit off. But today you have Kylan Freeland going and he knows how to pitch at Coors and against this Giants um, team who he was tagged for three runs um, last week against this team. But that's the most he's given up against this Giants team since last year. On the flip side, you have Webb for the Giants, who's looked great, only giving up one run in five innings. So, again, while this line was awful yesterday and I was way off, this pitching matchup points towards the under, and I really think these two guys can keep it under seven and a half. A combined 28 runs between these two teams yesterday. So maybe they're all run now. The door hits that can be found at Coors Field today. Kyle Freeland has pitched well, as Megan mentioned, this year. And Logan Webb needs to do just enough. We're only really talking about the first five. Let him score the 20 runs after the five innings are done. And we'll see what happens. But the under seven and a half in those first five innings is the play, according to Megan. Moving on to our next game, Sixto Sanchez was some of the talk of baseball last week, and he was up today against the Toronto Blue Jays. That game starts at 6.40 p.m. Eastern time, and you're betting against the rookie in this next start for him. Young John Ryu on the mound for the Blue Jays, and they are the favorites here, and you like him anyway. So uh, I really like the Blue Jays in this spot tonight. They're coming off a tough loss against the Marlins, and then you have Ryu in your ace pitching tonight. Um He's been great this year, only giving up um, two runs in his last three starts. Uh, and on the flip side, you have Sixto Sanchez, who really has shown some dominant stuff. But I have a feeling that he's going to be on a pitch count tonight, and he's going to have to eventually turn it over to that shaky Marlins bullpen. Um, the Blue Jays rested some of their their best hitters yesterday, and arguably their best hitter in Teosco, Teoscar Hernandez, um, so I just think that this Blue Jays team is coming out for a win today and their bats are going to be woken up and just take advantage of that Marlins bullpen uh, altogether. The Blue Jays went for it at the trade deadline. So did the Miami Marlins grabbing starting Marte, which obviously worked out well for them last night. Marte helping to get the victory. And Brandon Kinsler in that bullpen doing his job. But Megan does not believe it's going to happen two days in a row. The Blue Jays are the better team. They have the better pitcher on the mound, or at least the more consistent pitcher. We'll see what Sixto Sanchez can do in this start. But Yoshin Ryu and the Blue Jays, the play today. Finally, one last game to get to, and it's the Rays and the Yankees, a series that the Rays have dominated all season long, but not last night. The Yankees were able to come back uh, and pick up a victory today. It's Charlie Morton taking on Jordan Montgomery, and the Rays are plus 114. They're dogs today, even though Charlie Morton, one of the better pitchers in baseball over the last couple of years. The Rays have had the Yankees number. You think that continues today, Megan? I do, and <clears throat> what a crazy game last night. Uh, well, I'm not going to say what side is right. I am going to pick a side today, and that is the Rays. Um, in my opinion, the Rays have, as you said, the best pitcher for the situation going in Charlie Morton. Um, the guy is just cool, calm, and collected, um, which is probably why he was the best pitcher for the Astros in that 2017 World Series run. Um, I just don't think that the chirping is going to bother him. I think he's going to put his head down and pitch this game like nobody's business. Um, also, I think manager um, Cash, he, I think he's definitely playing this game to win. I don't think he's going to be throwing at people. I think he's going to be playing this like it is a playoff game. Um, I think he's going to go to his bullpen. And with all of this Yankees injuries, uh, they're just not clicking right now, in my opinion. And I just think that this Rays team with the plus money is the play today. Kevin Cash has a bullpen of pitchers that can throw 98. So we'll see what happens today. Both teams are going to be worn. We'll see how many pitches are up and in. But Charlie Morton, according to Megan, the right pitcher on the mound in this situation for the Tampa Bay Rays. There you have it. Those are the winning picks. As Megan said, all we're trying to do today is win a little money. So hopefully we'll get that done. Megan Nunez, we appreciate the time. Good luck today. Thank you. 
All right. Tomorrow on the program, Tom Vecchio will join me as we keep taking a look at the NFL. We're one week away, people. Let's get excited. From Megan Nunez, I'm Greg Sussman. We'll see you all tomorrow right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.